Steve Cook it. I am Steve Green. I am now the team leader for the UNIC President. Now, UNIC, not many people have heard of, but I think many people would have heard of our members, like the Goethe Institute, the Cervantes, the Danish Cultural Institute, the British Council, the 23 cultural institutes of the European Union and some ministries have come together in a network to work together, coordinate policies and do actions together. Uh, around the world, we're one of the major players in international cultural relations, uh, both in money, and in influence and in effectiveness. So, what are you doing here at the front? Do you have a special role? And what are you expecting for this event? I think there are two points to that. With this forums like this, and I was in Lisbon two years ago, and wherever we will be in two years' time, they, are, they have two purposes. One is listening in the formal sessions to people who have experience and ideas. So you can sit back and say, well, ah, this is what's happening in the sector. Equally important, it's what's happening outside. And it's over the breaks, the gaps between the sessions, where today there is just a tremendous amount of networking. And people are saying, I, I, this morning, for example, somebody I knew from Wales was said, do I know anybody in Portugal who can help me with this project? That's the benefit of these type of gatherings. My own personal role, I have to do the conclusions for the section of culture outside the European Union and the European Union going in the rest of the world. And politically, it's a quite important event for the European Commission, especially with, which is organizing this event. Um, what do you think the progress has been in this field of culture and international relations? What kind of progress we have seen and what can we expect for the next years? I think the Commission can be congratulated from where we were two years ago. Uh, one of the most visible signs is how many people from senior Commission staff are not from the education and culture centre, but we have people from development, from international relations, from regional policy. It's mainstreaming culture, as we, as the cultural professionals know, but it's getting through to the politicians and the administrators that culture in a variety of ways works throughout society, not just in one small region. And do you think there are chances for practitioners on the field within Europe, working externally or in, in third countries, to see the concrete results of all those efforts in the coming years? I definitely think so. I think there are, there's programs being developed, for example, in the Eastern Partnership, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Georgia. Next year there will be a new strategy in the Mediterranean. Uh, there will be strategies in China in development. So many of these, I think, are going to be capacity building, developmental, um, sharing the expertise we've built up in Europe with regions which are still trying to develop the similar networks and expertise. And I think that's where, in the first instance, the cultural sector, it's the training, development, skills. Because when the key point of culture in the external field is to listen to the countries in the other one. We as Europeans cannot go and say, we know best. What we can do and say, we are here with our skills. Are they of use to where you wish to use them? Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the hey, Thank you.